Hey, Isabel, how are you? So, just to the time, hey guys, remind me to remind me to turn. I mean, I'll probably remind me that I need to turn on. Thank you. 
Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our first camper concert. First of two, we'll have a big concert tomorrow night with the combos, but tonight we're featuring one of the combos, the big band, and our six vocalists uh, kind of intermingled through the evening. And, uh, we hope you enjoy the music. We thank you for, for joining us. I uh, had a pleasure working with these six vocalists for the last few days, and I'm uh, looking forward to getting a chance to sing for, for you all tonight. We're going to start things off with three of the singers, and we're going to first introduce Maria Galar, who's going to sing the first two. Of you. I'm 
mention Maria, you're from Canandaigua, right? Yeah, so somewhat local. And uh, a little further south now, right? Olean? Right. We'd like to welcome Jan Rodin. He's going to sing a lovely Lord Kaini tune for you.
vocalists a little later on, but now we're going to shift gears to the tritone, uh, one of the tritone combos. Uh, this has been led by Darius all week, and I believe the name is on your program. Uh, but in case you didn't get a program, they are called Premature Improvisation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Anything to me. 
That's a word. <laughs> Stop chains on us. And can I hear a sonic boom? Yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I didn't know how to take all these ladies when I started with them, but I've learned to just worship them all as goddesses here on earth. <laughs> they say that's just about right. <laughs> um, this next song this is the song I wrote. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a song I wrote with the main of the Quantum River on Beck, and it's called Drifting with the Tide. And the, uh, one of the things that's been talked about over and over here about music is not so much the music, but the relationship between the peoples, of course. So this is about a quick show of hands. How many people here are married? All right, let's get the rest of it. How many people here are in a committed sexual relationship? <laughs> 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 all inclusive. And because we, well, anyway, <laughs> all of you folks in both categories know, uh, especially if you're on a river, one thing you do when you're on a river or you're married or in one of those relationships, you don't. Fight the time. <laughs> <laughs> Go with the time. That's what I want to see. And we want to uh, include everybody, so we're going to ask you to start off with a little finger sampling with us on the two and the four. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
concert tomorrow at 3 o'clock in this room. Uh, the Dixieland band, I believe, will also be part of that time frame from 3 to 4. Uh, Dixieland band and also the vocals are each going to do another tune, or at least some of them are. So uh, please feel free to join us at the 3 o'clock slot to uh, put a little bit more of the uh, vocal side of things. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, now considering a Kazoo Ensemble for next year, so if you'd like to sign up ahead of time, you can talk to me after the concert. Uh, and I think we're now just shifting gears over to the big band, right? That's right. Yes, sir. Good, Ralph. There might not be a gear shot at this point, but if we can please have one more hand for Darius and Thank you. 
It only gets harder from there. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're going to play now uh, a terrific tune that was written by a bass trombone player. Go figure, how did that happen? <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> really written by a great bass trombone player and a wonderful writer and uh, educator, David Springfield. It's called Rhyme, and it's going to feature a very lullaby-like introduction from our very lullaby-like pianist, uh, Suzanne Lee, from Kentucky. From Kentucky. So this is like the Kentucky lullaby. And this will also feature, uh, let's see, it's going to feature Matt on alto sax as well, and a little bit of Mike on drums too. So this is Rhyme.
students, and one that I'm guessing is played by every uh, person of any age who studies jazz, uh, and that's John Coltrane's impression. Uh, and it, this tune gives the impression <laughs> that it's easy, but it's actually very difficult because the chord or the tonality stretches for such a long time. So it's a great piece, it's a great piece to improvise on as well. We'll hear from Prince Knight on the flute, Lorenzo Simpson on the tenor set, from Gene Coleman on the flute, from Larry Priori on the trombone, Elf Warner guitar and Doug Onstead on the piano. This is John Coltrane's impression. <clears throat> Thank you. 
before we play our last song and conclude this evening's concert, I'd like uh, you, as well as our whole band, to give a, a round of applause and a thank you to one of our faculty members who sat in and, and uh, held us together back in the trumpet section, Mr. Clay Jenkins. <laughs> Okay, we are going to play uh, another um, very important tune in the, in the literature by Sonny Wallens called Doxy. And we'll uh, be able to stretch out with some solos on this and hear Glenn Zockel on trumpet, Dave McDonough on Barry Sax, Jim Nichols on trombone, Mike Sanmarina on alto sax, Lisa Nordegraff on tenor sax, and Ann Hines on the piano. This is Sonny Rollins Doxy. Two choruses each, background second time for everyone. Except the piano. Except for the piano. Thank you. No, we just go. Yeah, we're just not on background. That's good. That's good. We'll be over here. Second time back. Thank <laughs> you. 